Black children suffer the most from inability to read, low test scores, and in disproportionate suspension. Stacey Abrams supports policies that disproportionately affect black people negatively. Please think before you vote. Please make sure you understand the policies of the people that you're supporting. Just remember, more black babies die in the womb than any other race. More black babies are aborted than born in some states like New York. These people think you're too stupid to get down to the DMV and get an ID to vote. Think about that. You should be a citizen and you should have an ID to vote. <laughs> think, it up, think about it for a second. Somebody killed an elephant. <laughs> So I'm out here tonight to let Stacey Abrams know and people out here know that she does not speak for all black people and that Democrats do not speak for all black people and that black people are not a monolith and we think independently, we think critically and no political party speaks for all of us. No individual speaks for all black people and that not everybody in North Carolina is in favor of what leftists and what Stacey Abrams is in favor of. We don't think everybody's racist. We don't think this country is racist and we're out here tonight to tell her her, her like and her thought process is not wanted here. So clearly I'm a conservative. I identify as a conservative. I am a Republican. I happen to be a chairman of the Cabarrus County Republican Party and the NCGOP's Black Conservative Coalition. So I make no bones that I'm a conservative Republican, but what people don't want to get out is that a lot of these people out here are conservative. They've just been brainwashed by the left to think that the Democrats care about them more than the Democrats care about anything else. But we've seen with the Biden administration and what they've done to HBCUs, that's not the case. So I think that shows the type of character an individual like her would have. And I think that also goes to show you what what the lengths that the left will stoop to. You know. To say that the race was lost based on racism and that Governor Kemp and Republicans in Georgia were racist and that's why she lost the race because she's a black woman, I think that just speaks to the same playbook that the left has always used, when in doubt, use racism. So that, and like I said, not conceding shows the level of conceit that she has. I think the fairest way to make elections fair is to have voter ID. Number one, you should be a legal and lawful citizen of the United States and you should have an ID when you go vote. For Democrats and people like Stacey Abrams to suggest that these black people out here are too stupid to go get an ID is insane. The voters of North Carolina voted for voter ID. And to see that one activist Obama appointed judge can overturn the will of the people, again, speaks to the level of uh, hypocrisy and, and I dare say uh, political gamesmanship from people on the bench. But to your question about voter ID, I think North Carolina by and large had safe and fair elections here. But to see Democrat stronghold places like Arizona, like Michigan, like Pennsylvania, like Georgia, to have you know mail-in ballots and mail-in fraud and, ba and ballot harvesting just goes to show. You should have to vote in person with an ID and be a citizen. Go home, Stacy. <laughs>